Payoff pitch. Into center field, a base hit for Alou. For the time on a board to begin the Chicago fourth inning. That was just a beautiful at bat right there. Didn't do a lot of damage, but you get a base hit. This is the ball, the only pitch that Alou saw anywhere near the strike zone. Look at the balance as you can draw a line right through his head to the back leg. Right back up the middle on a ball that was middle away. James, the Cubs average just over six runs again. Lined in the center field, a base hit for Alou, his second and three at bats. Once again, the balance of Moises Alou when he hits the ball. We've already talked about that balance. Kevin Kennedy will talk a lot about the power V right there, keeping the elbows bent. It's a pretty swing. That one is into the hole. That's a base hit. So to the second base. He'll stop there as Chipper Jones comes up with it. Well, he tried to come inside, and Moises Alou has one of the quickest bats on the inside for a right-handed hitter. I remember Dusty Baker telling me, he said, Moises Alou and Gary Sheffield are the two best fastball hitters he's seen. See where he's set up outside, look where this pitch ends up. Pretty much in the middle of the plate, and he pulls it into the hole. He had been able to get him out going away and had him swing and miss, and then he made a mistake and got it in the middle. Deal any bases during the entire regular season. Moises Alou. Right up the middle. That's a base hit. Sammy will stop it. Second, the ball is overrun by Andrew Jones, and he slips and falls in the wet turf. And Sammy goes to third, and the ball will, will be run back to the infield by Forcal. Wow. The fourth error by the Braves. But I think you're going to see that it wasn't so much the wet turf here, but Andrew Jones kind of looked up to see if Sammy was going and because after he missed the ball is when he slipped and see watch he'll come in see he slips after he missed the ball right there possibility is that the Giants would play the Cubs in the next round in the league championship series but the Giants dealt a severe blow today when they just blew a game against the Marlins and that's going to be an infield hit for Kyle got to it but Alou gets the infield hit back in the first inning things conspiring against the breeze with an RBI one on two out grounded through in the short left field for Paul able to cut it off on an infield hit for Alou two on with two out and Aramis Ramirez coming up Moises Alou just going to reach out and pull the ball away from him into the sixth hole. You see Castilla can't quite get to it, just tips it. For call does a smart thing by eating that ball. Stick it in your back pocket. You're not going to be able to throw anybody out. He made a quick look at second base to see if he could get Gredzelanek at second. Sosa running. And that ball lined hard in a deep left field. Back to the wall. Sosa on a double by Alou. Moises put a charge into that when he was mad at himself, Tommy, because he said every time Fox covers a game, he hits a home run. He didn't get one in game one of this series. This one, if he had a little more lift, would have gone out of the park. Chipper Jones very tentative going back on this ball because he was afraid of the corner of the ballpark there. He wasn't sure if he was going to hit this part or get back into the deeper area of the corner. He doesn't, he doesn't know exactly where he is in the ballpark. If he's four feet to his right, he runs into the wall there. Now, way too early in the game for the Cubs to start getting passive on the bases. They have been very aggressive in this series and again today. It's only the bottom of the fifth inning. And Alou, a guy who handles the bat very, very well. So it's not a big risk by starting the runner as Ortiz turns loose his 76th pitch of the afternoon. 
Line into left field, a base hit by Alou. Jones over to get it. And slamming on the brakes in second, Brezelonic. So here come the Cubs, a tying run coming to the plate. Moises Alou all over everything. Watch the balance. We talked about his crazy setup, all knock kneed. And but then when he goes to swing the bat, he's a very short stride, just releases those hands. Two fingers off the end of the bat, and he's got some serious leverage. He is locked in right now. Finish the season three. 3-2 three pitch. Sosa not going, and it's in the air. Short left field. It will fall in front of Chipper Jones. Scoring is Kenny Lofton and Chicago on the board. The sequence to Moises Alou. Hampton never threw him a strike. Two and two. Now the three-two pitch, or the two-two pitch fouled away. Now it's three and two. Off the plate and an RBI single for the Cubs' hottest hitter, Moises Alou. Alou now nine of 17 in the series. He has three runs batted in. died after it got over Hampton's head and Alou with his second hit. You will see a lot of pitchers try to jump for a ball like that. Hampton started and then said the only thing I can do is mess this up. If for Kyle or Giles can't make the play it won't be made. They didn't. Take a look at our in-game box score for the Cubs brought to you by Midas. Lofton that doubled a lead off the ball game scored on a single by Alou who has two hits and Gonzalez. A solo home run to straightaway center field leading off the second inning. You got to be some kind of strong to be able to swing it like that. In the air, down the left field line, hit well. Back to the wall, Conine, goodbye! hitter fastball count he is the quickest guy on this team inside you cannot go in there and expect to get him out consistently very short strong stroke on the rounded fair up the third baseline into the corner Alou making a turn on his way to second base well, there's a very nice story in a local paper today about Moise Salou and revisiting 1997, but it was a much deeper article than that. Right down the line, right over the back. And Alou with a stand-up double. You know, Alou, while growing up, his father obviously a player. The travel back during his father's playing days so dramatically different than it is now. And rarely did Alou 2 of 11 in the series. Up the middle in the center field. Sosa will make a turn but stay put. This is the difference between playing down here in Florida and playing in Wrigley. That ball hit up the middle. Would not have gotten to Pierre that quickly. Watch this ball. Just scooted up the middle. In Wrigley, Sammy could go to third base on this ball. But look how quickly it gets out to Juan Pierre in center field. This is like a putting green here. At Wrigley this time of the year, it's more like a cow pasture out there trying to run through that thing. Jack McKeon going to make a double switch. And bring on Chad Fox from the bullpen with two on and two out in a one-run game. He pitches for, for strikes. Round ball finds a hole in the left field off the bat of Moise Salou. And here come the Cubs again. 
one out and walk to Sosa. Goes to second on a single by Moise Salou. Three walks in the first inning. Setting the table for a Ramos Ramirez in that opening inning. The world with us five years ago today. Andres Galarraga, then of the Atlanta Braves, hit the last ball. And they get that half commitment like Sosa did. Served in the short right field. Cabrera coming on. Not going to get it. And it's racing home is Lofton. A two out loop single by Moise Salou makes it 7 nothing Cubs. There's a guy in right field that's never played out there before. I don't know if anyone could have caught that ball, but maybe you dive for this ball if you have the opportunity. Well, again, we bring up Cabrera had never played right field in his life. The truck had that graphic up before I could spit it out. Line in the center field, second hit of the game for the Cubs against Beckett. It's only a 2 1 ball game. So now the tying run comes to the plate. And Ramirez will be the batter. Remember, we talked about how uncomfortable he looks before he swings, but when he hits the ball, Right at point of contact, great balance through this. Right through the swing leg, it hit right off of a stiff front leg. Good power off the back leg. Everything balanced out very well. Head right on the high fastball. Smacking that thing right back up the middle. She throws it again. Round ball in the hole. Gonzalez will not even attempt the throw. That'll be an infield hit for Alou, and Sosa stays at second base. Have the first two on here in the bottom of the sixth inning. We talked to Wayne Rosenthal before the game as well about even Josh Beckett. He said, No way do I want to put you down in the pulls it into left field. Looking up Kona. Cubs lead by two. Exactly what we're talking about. Thinking the other way, but a ball up in the strike zone, a hanger. Looked like a breaking pitch to me. Thinking opposite field, but getting fooled just a little and pulling the ball to left field for a home run. Serious strength, tremendous bat speed from Moises Alou. Ramirez drives it the other way, and Cabrera has to go in the air to get it. Strike one there at Carroll's. Boyce just got a change up out over the plate. We've been talking about how quick his hands are. Change up up out over is not good for a fastball hitter. Talking to Gary Matthews before the game, he said the biggest thing that we have to do is stay off the stuff.